Hello, welcome to Puff Drink Talk podcast uh, and cigar reviews. Uh, my name is Hilton Kill, and I will be doing a cigar review for you today on the Macanudo Inspirado Green. It's a very interesting cigar, and uh, it's a complex blend. And because I'm Brazilian, so this one has a Brazilian wrapper, of course, which is a Arapiraca wrapper. So it's a Brazilian tobacco, and it has an Indonesian binder and a Dominican long fillers. It's an aged uh, filler, so it's not like your conventional uh, type of filler, like uh, it's, it has been well aged. So it's supposed to be sort of mid um, strength uh, and mid um, for, 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 for taste. I don't know about that, so I'm gonna see what I'm gonna be picking up because, uh, you know, from Brazil, Indonesia, and uh, and Dominican, I think it's a very interesting blend. So let me see what I'm gonna pick up on the cold draw. Here it is. So let's see how I'm going to be performing with this one. Cold draw. It's earthy on the cold draw. Has a some sweetness to it, which I don't know what that is. Um, couldn't pick up. Hmm. Yeah. Has that farming smell. Yeah, has that farm smell like um, cow shit. Good cow <laughs> shit. <laughs> organic. <laughs> organic, organic. Yeah. I'll light this bad boy up and see how it tastes like. I'm down for it. <laughs> All right, let's see. It smells that farm smell. Uh, it's even bigger now. It's like it fills up the the room in here. Has some um, like herbal taste to it. I'm not getting any earth or anything like that. So just the smell of the wrapper had the earth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has a, it's not a grassy kind of taste. It's a herbal, some sort of herbs, which I can't identify what it is because I'm, I'm not a tea guy. I, I drink coffee. And, <coughs> I drink coffee and margaritas. So, yeah, I'll check back with you on the first third. Nice. Coming down here to the first third of the cigar. That um, herbal taste has become like a perfume. If you ever, hmm. let's say, licked the neck of your lady that uh, had just freshly sprayed some perfume on, that's what it's tasting like right now. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and also, the forefront of, of the, the flavor, it's, it's earthy, so it's very earthy. I'm getting, you know, very, very earthy. And I took some notes in here because <laughs> as I was smoking it, I was like, I also got a hint of, uh, on a couple of puffs ago, a hint of a coffee fruit, you know, when you just harvesting coffee and then you get that coffee fruit and then you, you bite on it. If you've never done it, uh, I have. Um, and, uh, and that's what I got, uh, um, some, some of that taste. So I'll check back with you on the second, third of the cigar.
Look at this burn. It's burning so well. Didn't hit, I didn't have to touch up um, whatsoever. This is bringing me so many different flavors. Um, I got a very strong leather flavor. It's not like the leather as you are in your house and sit on a leather sofa and then have that leather smell. It's more like a, 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 the leather smell in a butcher. Like very, very strong leather that I got um, as a taste on this. The smell has been kind of um, that perfume, perfume that I mentioned before. Sorry. <laughs> the smell of this um, rapa burning is incredible. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's very earthy, um, and it's getting bolder and stronger. Um, and the only different uh, taste that I picked up was the this very strong leather. Other than that, everything's been the same. I'll get back to you when I get it down to the uh, final third. Coming here into the final third of the cigar, this Macanudo Inspirado Green. Um, oh. It has developed like um, the earthy flavor has Became, become too bitter, um, too bitter for my taste. Um, I took some notes in here, and um, the on the retro hail, just right now, I picked up like a, a little bit of a black coffee, but it's very spicy. So I don't know how would that relates to like spicy black coffee, and um, and I also start picking up probably because of that bitterness, like a woodsy uh, or a woody flavor. I'm not sure if it's cedar, cedar or hickory, some something like that. But um, yeah, that's what I've been uh, picking up uh, on this final third. It has, um, the, for my palate, the taste has been going down instead of going up in enjoyment. Hmm. Final thoughts here on the... Uh, on the score, I'm going to score this on 87. Uh, it's not a cigar that I would go and buy it again. And there are other cigars that I would buy. Uh, so I'll leave this one for somebody that uh, likes this um, uh, taste profile. Even though there is a Brazilian wrapper here. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I normally buy uh, you know Brazilian wrapper cigars just because I'm, I'm Brazilian. But I don't know. Uh, this one has not uh, given me uh, too much enjoyment. It started with that um, um, perfume smell of taste, the herbal smell, and uh, now uh, it's become bitter. Uh, it lost all of that uh, fine uh, initial enjoyment and this final um, taste profile I'm getting here now. It's not that enjoyable for my palate, so it's. So uh, it's not a bad score because um, half of it, maybe you know, going down to the, to the second third was still enjoyable. But you know, right now it's not really doing much. The burn is being perfect though. It's it's a very well constructed cigar. Quality is in here, uh, but for some reason, not for me. Um, but yes, um, check our channel. There is a podcast in there where we talk about uh, various subjects. Um, and this week we talked about the visit of the Chinese president uh, to the United States. Um, and we also do the football picks on the uh, football season. Thank you very much.